All right, Georgie, you had a had an excellent knock on the weekend for yep. Melbourne Uni. Um, what what can you what did you take from um, the day? Um, what do you think has you sort of been doing well? Um, what was your sort of game plan and that going into that game? Like your usual Red Bull plans? Um, take us yeah, take us inside. Yeah. Um, sort of my. I was really happy with sort of my blueprint of how I want to go about red ball batting. So yeah. no, early on it's always going to be hard. New ball, sort yeah. of in the first couple of overs, that's always going to be a, a really big challenge. So I was just really clear on my scoring zones, especially early on, knowing I've got a cover drive if it's right up there, and sort of any any width I can cut, yeah. and anything off a hitch, I'll naturally pick that up. Yeah. So yeah, sort of just having two, maybe three, really clear zones of where I'm going to score, mm -hmm. and then. Anything other than that, be really solid in my defence. Try and nick some singles yep. round about. Just keep putting, putting pressure back on them. But um, yeah. so yeah, that was the main, the main blueprint that I tried to follow. I was really, really happy that that yep. I I executed that. Thought you stuck to that the entire day. Mm -hmm. um, something I thought was sort of a big strength of yours is your ability to ride the waves mm -hmm. of the pressure, yeah. the good bowling, the good spells, and then really pounce on. Mm -hmm. You know, if they brought on a part timer or a second change bowler, and yeah. really maximise any opportunity they came. Um, in terms of your mindset as well, you always look very calm. Yeah. You look pretty chilled out there. I know yeah. we batted together for a bit, but um, just your overall demeanour is like it's pretty whatever happens, happens. I don't know if yeah. that's what it feels like for you, or if you've got any mental cues that you use um, to help sort of keep that perspective. Um, yeah. Yeah. Like no, sort of what you said there, sort of whatever happens, happens, probably a good way of putting it, sort of like, I know, sort of in midweek, I'll have done all the work I can, and then, yeah, obviously the nerves are still there, but sort of going into a Saturday, knowing, okay, I've done everything I can here, yeah. that sort of almost takes a little bit of pressure off, and like, yeah. I think one of the coaches back at Lanks told me a status, that, uh, so like Rahul Dravid, one of the best batters ever. Yeah. I think he passed 51 in every four. <laughs> so it's knowing like it's not going to be a day every day, and yeah. that sort of it's quite freeing in a way, almost that knowledge. Yeah. So yeah, just yeah, knowing if you can carry that. Yeah, yeah. definitely. So um, yeah, just yeah. knowing that when it is your day, you, you make sure you cash in and, and yeah. go big. Yeah, that's it. That's something we talk about. The best players are able to really make good days great. Yeah. Great days. Yeah. I think it's a great testament to all your work that you're putting in. Like we've had, it's been three weeks, but yeah. we've had, you know. Eight sessions or so, and yeah. um, it's yeah, really paying off. So, and the hunger's hunger's something I really noticed there. When you when you get in, as you said, you you make the most of it. But yeah. yeah, looking forward to watching Georgia at the G. It's going to be <laughs> um, very very exciting. So, yeah. Yeah. No, cheers.